Hi, this is Simon Obstall, and welcome to this demo of the video slot machine generator for Final Cut. And this follows on from my tutorial in which I showed you how to create this effect. So there's a link to this generator in the comments. You will need to request access to download it. So anyway, let's take a closer look. So here we are in Final Cut. I'm going to come to Generators, TKY. It's called TKY Video Slot Machine. I'm just going to drag it onto the timeline there. So then I'm going to come over and look for my source material because I want to populate these different drop zones. So you'll notice there are six drop zones. There's three for the outgoing and three for the incoming. I noticed that I've actually got them labeled the wrong way around. So we've got left, center, right and center, left, right. But anyway, you can work that out. So for the outgoing, I'm going to use this clip here. So I'm just going to drag that onto the three source wells for the outgoing clip. So the thing to notice is that you can populate each panel of the incoming and the outgoing with a different image. So I'm going to do that with the incoming. I'm going to use this close up of the wheel on the left and also on the right. Whereas the center, I'm going to have this guy here. So let's just drop that into the center. So then we hold on our front shot for a second. We rotate all the drums. They all land at a different point and we end up here. Wheels on the outside, cyclist in the middle. Now you'll notice we've got the option of text and we can do whatever we want if we don't actually want any text. So here's the outgoing text. Maybe we don't actually want that. We can actually just delete this text field and there's no text. But if we wanted to do bike, for example, now you'll notice that the default mode is overlay, but we can switch that here to normal. And then if you actually want to change the text, you can come in here and you can adjust it here adjust the baseline or whatever. So it's a normal text tool there. And supposing we didn't want any incoming text, we could just delete that. And we've got nothing on this guy here. So let's look at a few more of the controls. We can turn the text off altogether instantly with this switch here. So literally just that removes the text wherever it is. We can adjust the scale. So if you wanted to actually full frame, you could adjust that to 100% and it looks like that or we could go down to 50% or whatever. Or you could animate this, obviously, because it's keyframeable. So what else can we do? Oh, we can add this scratch glass effect. And I don't know whether we can probably, it's probably easier to see on this front here. So if we just increase that, you can see we get this sort of like we're looking through glass at the video. It's potentially quite nice. It really is all going to depend on the video content, whether it's going to look good or not. We've looked at all the drop zones. So now let's look at the timing controls. So we can decide how long we want it to pause at the front. So if I want it to pause for 50 frames, it will pause for longer on this front shot. And similarly with the end pauses, you'll notice that they are staggered and that's to create this nice effect of them all landing differently. And you could obviously just make those the same, but basically these, these are timings back from the end of the generator. So how long a hold do you want in relation to the end? Here's the overshoot ramp control, which determines the, how the bounce works, basically. So we can adjust the color of this face panel like this, so anything we want. We can set the color for the frame border as well, anything we want. And we can adjust the width of that border like this. So that's kind of it. I hope you have fun playing with it. If you have any thoughts, please do let me know in the comments and I can always release an updated version. So thanks very much indeed for watching. See you again soon.